You want to experience comic culture and sales. Streaming live daily to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. What is up, comic book community? We're here on another Wednesday evening. It's time to fill this wall with some phenomenal comic books. Put some stuff in the chat that you want to see tonight, whether it's price points, whether it's slabs, whether it's the cheapy $5, $10 books, big books, Marvel, DC, whatever you want. And I will try to get as much as through as much of it as I can. Let's get started. Roll the theme music. everybody what is up we got a bunch of people in here already what is up noah rob josh brian and justin how you doing uh yes this weekend is king con i just did a king con preview show with three men in a basement and showed off some of the books that i'll be uh bringing with me uh some of them are right over here and i could potentially put them up for sale tonight uh get a little early dibs on the uh, the King Con inventory, let's um let's start off with some some big ones. Why not? We got them. They're right here. Might as well. One, two, and let's pull some from over here. Three, four. Uh, these actually some of these I had up in my preview show. Some of them I did not. But these are some of the bigger raw books that are going up over the weekend at King Con. We've got whoop, Iron Fist number 14. This is the second to last issue. More importantly, it is the first appearance of Sabretooth. And it is sharp. This is a nice high-grade copy. Pretty sure this thing is uh, solidly in the nines. Nine two, nine four, something like that. Um, definitely a, a nice copy, near mint, $500 on that. First, saber tooth. Uh, we got this. This is a beauty. Even though it's coverless, low grade is better than no grade. Wolverine's first appearance, first full appearance in Hulk 181, $600 on that. Again, coverless, but that is going to be the cheapest copy in the room Saturday if no one buys it tonight. Uh... ASM, 300. This is a high-grade copy as well. Definitely in the near-mint range on this one. I think probably a 9.4, maybe a 9.6. That's a maybe. I think 9.4 is, is pretty pretty safe to say. $600 on this one. ASM, 300. And last but not least, another heavy hitter. This one actually got some news going today. A lot of people uh, are, are, are questioning the... Uh, What's going to happen with the MCU? But uh, Silver Surfer number one, this is actually the first appearance of Shalabal, who is, according to reports, going to be in the movie, going to be in the Fantastic Four movie. Shalabal, her first appearance is in this. She is the uh, love interest of Norn Rad, and she actually does become a Silver Surfer herself at one point. Silver Surfer esque character. She gets cosmic powers. Uh, $400 on this. This one is a 4.5 to 5 0. I did not change the price on that at all, um, given that there was the news today. But uh, let's see. Do I have a 35 cent copy? No, this. No, that's a tough one to find. Save that for Otto. Otto's thinking about this. He already messaged me about it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the girl from Ozark is uh, potentially going to be playing Shalabal. Shalabal! All right, let's let's uh, let's get through some more bigger stuff, some newer inventory that uh, maybe hasn't seen the light of day up here in this uh, in the experience show yet. Let's see what we got. 
I don't think this has been up yet. I think I put all the... Did I put the Batman stuff up here? I don't remember. But... Either way, we're going to go one, two, three, and some Fantastic Four. Why not? Why not? Uh, Tales of Suspense, number 55, early Iron Man, early in that new suit, the classic suit that we know. This is a, I don't know if this is the second or third appearance. I think this is the second appearance of the Mandarin. Might be the third. Uh, lower grade, 3.5, but just 50 bucks. Nice Tales of Suspense if you're collecting that run. Got to have that minor key there. Uh, Fantastic Four 29, first appearance of The Watcher. Solid mid-grade 5.0, $125. Incredible Hulk number 340. This is a very fine copy. Very fine, very fine. Plus, you know what it is. Classic cover, Todd McFarlane, $125 for a high-grade copy. Again. Very fine to very fine plus. Uh, and then this also classic cover. This one, think of this one's a 9.4. There's uh, two little spine ticks. Really nice looking copy. 9.4. $100 on that. Incredible Hulk. Oh, sorry, uh, rather Wolverine number eight. The classic Joe Fixit and um, Patch cover. Let's check the chat. Affordable DC, X-Men 101. I do have an X-Men 101. It is graded, Bri Perez. It is a... Uh, I'll show it right now, actually. I think it is... Right here. Uh, it is X-Men 101. It is 6.5. It is not only graded, but it is also signed by... The man himself, Chris Claremont. And he signed it in a really great spot. Usually he signs like the weirdest spots. A lot of times he'll sign on the, the, the X-Men logo, which is fine. But like sometimes he like signs like right on her face. Signed right here, Chris Claremont, 6.5. I have this for $450, $450. Um, believe that's below last sale, if I remember correctly. Uh, 6.5, great book. Let me know if you're interested in that. I need Josh's ideas. I do. I so was anyone? Is anyone here? We were, were any of you not in my claim sale last Friday when I did all that Batman stuff? Because I sold about half the Batman that I had, Silver Age and Bronze Age Batman. I sold about half of it, and I got about half of it left right here. If anyone's interested in me putting that up tonight, I can do that. But I put it all up in my claim sale last Friday. So if you were there on Instagram last Friday, you've already seen it. First Gaggy, yeah. First Gaggy is still around. I did find that for you. Let me just find it again and pull it out. Gagalicious. Where are you, buddy? It's in this box somewhere. Boom. First Gaggy in a 7.0 to 7.5. 150 bucks. Classic Joker cover, first appearance of Gaggy, and actually only Silver Age appearance of Gaggy. He was not kept up with and then returned all the way in the 2000s for Gotham City Sirens. 7.0 to 7.5. Really nice grade on this one. $150. Let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, is the Hulk a newsstand? I'm pretty sure it's direct. I usually, with that book, since the newsstand's on the back, I usually write it on there. This is direct. Boop. A little spidey head at the bottom. Yeah, it's annoying that the newsstand thing's on the back of this book. Usually I just write it if the newsstand's on the back. Like X-Force number one. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, the 340? No, th I'm pretty sure this is direct as well. Yeah, direct. Direct. Uh, sorry, yeah, Hulk, not Wolverine. My bad. Um, got a raw, co I don't have a raw copy right now. I, I definitely do somewhere. I just haven't come across it yet. <laughs> and I know that sounds ridiculous, but I have one. I know I have one that looks really nice, but has a, a pop bottom staple. So it'll be more affordable 
I'll let you know when I find that, uh, Bry Perez. Uh, let's see. Any deal on that? Oh, any deal on the gaggy? I'd come down a little bit. Uh, if you want to do like one, I really don't want to come down too much because this is, like I said, this is really nice. Having a 7 0 to 7 5, honestly, might get like an 8 0. It's like a few spine ticks, a little bit of corner wear. Uh, I would do. <laughs> I will do 135 on this if you want. 135. Let me know if you're interested. That's that's really the 10% off. That's the least I'll come down on that. Uh, how's the spine? Spine's pretty good. Uh, there are some there are some color breaks at the bottom here, which is why I have it at very fine to very fine plus. A couple little tiny spine ticks right here, and then a couple a uh, couple at the bottom right here. Um. Yeah, I mean it's it's nice looking. It does have. Let's see if you can. Probably can't see them. This camera sucks. I need a new camera. I need a new camera. My birthday's coming up. Just kidding. My birthday was in February. Uh, claim first, Gaggy for one thirty-five. Noah first claim of the night. Awesome stuff. Let's get your name on that. Or maybe not. Do I have a marker? All my markers have been kidnapped by me. 135. And that's going to Noah. Thanks, buddy. By the way, I am not doing an Instagram claim sale this weekend uh, because of King Con and Philly Comic Con. I'm doing two conventions this weekend. Um so I'm probably going to send out invoices like tonight or tomorrow to knock them out of the way. Um, I am not going Friday. I'm just going to go Saturday morning. I have actually some friends that are in town from Thursday to Monday, so I'll be hanging out with them. Has it been no? It has not been cleaned or pressed at all. It, it looks it looks nice. I mean, could definitely improve a little bit with a clean and press, but yeah, definitely definitely a nice looking book. After the show, send me pictures. Yeah, you got it. I will let you know. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? We're taking the top row down. We haven't flipped the wall at all yet. We're already 15 minutes into the show. Let's get this going. I'm showing big books. I guess they take a little bit more time. What should we do tonight? How about, you know what? I got some sets over here, and I got some good sets. See what people want to do here. Uh, this is Legend of Wonder Woman. This is a four issue Wonder Woman mini series. Based on the art, I think it like maybe is like more Golden Agey. I mean, it's not a Golden Age book. Obviously, it's from the the Copper Age, nineteen eighties, mid eighties, early Copper Age. But it looks like the Golden Age style art. Wonder Woman. This is one through four. You get the complete mini series there. Uh, we got Buckaroo Banzai, one and two. This is a two-issue Marvel Limited series. You get both issues for five bucks. Very affordable. Buckaroo Banzai was before my time. I have no idea what that even is. Uh, Near Mint, Batman, The Cult, one through four. Complete miniseries. First appearance of, um, I almost said Deacon Frost. Uh, Deacon Blackfire, $25 on that. You get the full set of Batman, The Cult. And we got the Black Knight complete mini series, twenty bucks on that, all high grade Black Knight mini series up on D. And I think that is the first like modern Black Knight solo run. Uh, Daredevil, yeah, actually I have a big run of Daredevil if you're interested in that. That's part of the sets that I was going to put up tonight. Bottom row is going to come down in just a minute. I do want to get through some of these sets. Um, I could pull a $10 box. I could pull a $5 box. I can keep going with the pricier stuff. I could also do the kind of middle value $15 to $30 books or $15 to $50 books. Whatever you guys want to say, let me know. I have all of it on hand right now because of all the shows that I'm doing coming up. Um, grade on B. Uh, Buckaroo Bonsai set. I'm pretty sure these are pretty high grade. Yeah, 
Sharp, near mint, uh, not nine eights. A couple little, couple little dings, but near mint range on these two. Boop. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, ASM. Well, I got a big ASM book, Bry. Got this one. One thousand three hundred fifty dollars. First appearance of Green Goblin. And I had that ASM 300 up earlier as well. If you're interested in that, let me know. First, Green Goblin. Claim B, Texas. Grabbing Bucket. What is, can someone explain to me what Buckaroo Banzai is? Because I, it sounds fun. <laughs> I just have no idea what it is. Thank you, Texas. Buckaroo Banzai. All right, what else do I got? What else do I got? I'm going to flip the bottom row. Let's put this one up top. Oh, wait, we're going with sets. I forgot. Uh, Batman versus Predator. This is the three-issue limited series Batman versus Predator that pits Batman against everyone's favorite uh, Predator people. It's got awesome uh, Arthur Sudom art as well. The guy that did like the zombie, the Marvel zombies and stuff. Um, I gotta watch it. Big movie for Clancy Brown, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, okay. So I know these people: John Lithgow, Christopher Lloyd. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to see this movie now that I realize I know every actor in it. <laughs> Pulp sci-fi hero story. Okay, I didn't realize that. It just sounded weird. You might not get it, but it's cool. Weird. That's okay. I like things that I don't get. One of my favorite movies is Freddy Got Fingered, so that just shows that I enjoy movies that I don't I don't quite understand. Um, all right, a couple more sets. Uh, Conan the Destroyer. This is one and two, full mini series. Look at that. Straight up looking like uh, Arnold. Uh, this is Batman Legend of the Dark Knight, uh, all four colors. This came in a bunch of different colors. I've got all four right here. Teal, magenta, yellow, and orange. Uh, Ten bucks. It's like $2.50 a book. Near mint. A little cheap set there. Uh, we got Deadpool, Circle Chase. First Deadpool solo. Four issue limited series, all near mint. Twenty five dollars. I actually have two copies of these. If two different people want them, and I got one more set. I can't put this up on the wall because there's not enough room. It is a nice thick stack of Daredevil. It's all the stuff. It's it's almost the entire run between the end of the original Frank Miller run and the beginning of Born Again, which was the second Frank Miller run. So this starts with issue 200, and it goes up to 226. So there's 27 Daredevil issues here, 27 issues for 80 bucks. So what, less than $3 a book? 80 bucks takes the Daredevil set. Again, it's the whole thing. I can't put it up on the wall because it's just too much to put all up at once. But we'll put that up there to signify what it is. Batman vs. Predator is great. I have the Superman vs. Alien too. I, I don't I don't know where that is though. I think it's still in that unsorted Superman collection that I got. <laughs> the one that you were helping out with, Josh. I haven't touched that since the last time you were at my house helping with it, so oh well. All right, uh, it is currently 9.20, which means we are due for a break. So if you see anything you want, think about it, and I will keep going when we get back in just a few minutes. Um, once again, there will be no Friday claim sale this week on Instagram because of two conventions this weekend, so this will be your chance to grab these books. Uh, what was H again? Dogs are barking. H is a run of Daredevil. Issue 200 to 226. Yeah, 200 to 226. All nice looking. 
you know, very, very fine at worst. Most of them are near mint. Um, 27 issues of Daredevil, starting with issue 200. Uh, and it's complete. It's it's every it's every issue. There's no there's no gap. So two to two twenty six uh, for eighty dollars for the set. Uh, no modern Daredevil. Now this this eighties stuff is the the most modern of all the Daredevil that I have at the moment. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna go to a commercial break. We're gonna be back in just a few minutes. We're gonna keep going with some higher value stuff. We're gonna go to some. Let me know if you guys want to see the Batman. If not, I'll skip that. Uh, and then let me know in the chat. Do you want to see, do you want me to end the show with $5 books or $10 books? I will do either one. I've got boxes of them. So you tell me which one you want and I'll put them up. But anyway, we'll be back in just a minute. Download our app on Google Play and the App Store. It's so simple, even my mommy can use it. So, the show is called The Geek Chat, and really there's just a couple of geeks. I'm Rich. I'm Dez. And we are your hosts for this weekly guide into comic bookery and all the geeky stuff that goes with it. And that pretty much says it all. They talk about the latest movies and shows. Okay, I'll be completely honest with you. Overall, D-plus movie. So, the I end... Did uh, you know who that is? That's that's She-Ra, yeah. Yes. The new number one comics of the week. We rep Sam Samuel Jackson and we rep Mace Windu. I passed on this. <laughs> I was like No regrets. No regrets. I really wanted to like this book. I really, really, <sighs> really, really, really did. Like I really did. And just chat with each other. And with you. Oh, Daniel says, I do stuff with the first one. <laughs> I have zero interest in duh. The Joker Harley ship, not Harley herself. Enjoy nap for me. Yeah, yeah, this movie's gonna be rough for me to sit through, I'll be honest. The Geek Chat, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Just a couple of honest geeks. Let's be honest. Come on. And that is why people watch us, because we're honest. Giving their honest opinion. And the thing you always have to remember about the internet is everyone has an opinion, and they all suck. Part of the experience. some DC stuff because that was the one I pulled out of the box uh yeah cool let's go let's get it going let's get it going what did I just put up oh I just put up the bottom row so top row is coming down last chance on any of those I don't see anything in the chat so I'm just gonna go through it take these down I need to have like a set only claim sale I feel like that's a Something I need to do at some point. I think I've said that before as well. <laughs> uh, Batman, issue number 436, near mint plus. First appearance of Tim Drake, $15 on that. Really nice copy. Uh, Detective Comics, number 326. I got two of these. They're both the same grade, 4.5 to 5 $25 each on them. Early Silver Age Detective Comics. With some great covers as well. Uh, issue 324. We got a robot cover. This is also a 4.5 to 5.0. 20 bucks. Noah's claiming A. I'll get that in just a second. Randomly, we got an ASM book. Near Mint, Todd McFarlane. What would this be? The fifth, fourth 
fourth appearance of Venom, fifth appearance of Venom. Depends on who you ask. 20 bucks on that. Near Mint, Todd McFarlane. Noah, you got A. Also, one thing about this book, see this blue DC logo up here? That's the first printing. That's the standard one. If you ever find this book with a green logo, buy it. Unless it's like really beat up or expensive or something. If you find it for like 10, 15 bucks, buy it. High grade, 10, 15 bucks. That's, that's a great price for the green logo one. That's the second printing. Really hard to find. There's not a lot of them. I have a 9.8 and like there's like one sale ever of a 9.8 that I can find sales data for. So if you ever come across that, just a little tidbit for all you comic book collectors out there. I'm going to pull random stuff out of this box. That's what I'm going to do. Boom. Ah, oh, here's a good one. This is Eternals number one. Uh, this is a pretty decent looking copy. Probably in the, the very fine, very fine plus range. High grade. Not a 9.8 or anything like that, but a nice looking book. Got a little couple dings down the side and stuff like that. 45 bucks. First appearance of the Eternals. That book, uh, remember when that book was selling for $300? Well, guess what? You can get it now for $45. Bucks. Claim D, Justin Neely. Thank you, Justin. Awesome stuff. Can't go wrong with McFarland Spider-Man. Thank you, thank you. What's next? Um... I got some, you know what? I got some Star Wars stuff if people are into that. I'll put these up in just a second. Uh, do you have some Daredevil? Is that more Star Wars? Oh, look at all of this Star Wars. We'll put this up too. Uh, this is a very cool cover. This is uh, Green Arrow, and this is the photo cover. Uh, the television show, if you watch The Arrow on CW, uh, really cool. Photo variant, foil cover. Sorry, you're getting so much glare on this book. It's a it's a foil. Uh, very cool looking cover. 20 bucks on that. Hopefully you can even see it up here. Probably not. Bottom row is coming down. Let's see. Uh, Batman in the 400s. I will have those soon. I'm getting those ready to bring to King Con. Um, so yeah, I will, I will have a lot of that Batman stuff available soon. Noah, let me know what specific issues you need. And I could always like, especially if they're filler issues and stuff, I can just grab them for you. Uh, yeah. The fall from grace on that price bronze. Yeah. Look at this. This is a bronze book. You need this Jamel. Let's see the daredevil. Uh, Josh, I think you already saw the daredevil that I have. It's, it's that, that silver age stuff that I put up on Friday. But bottom row is coming down. We're going to put up some Star Wars. Star Wars. One, two, three, four. We have four Star Wars books coming up. If anyone is into that. Two copies of Eternals, one. Uh, Bronze Star Wars. No, not Bronze Star Wars. Uh, no Miller Daredevil tonight. That stuff's going to King Con. Lots of Miller Daredevil. I'm, at least I'm trying to bring lots of Miller Daredevil to King Con. Whatever I can get to, I'll get to, I promise. Uh, I got some Mandalorian books right here. Uh, these are all Mandalorian. Um, harder to find variant covers. Nothing like crazy scarce, one in 500s or anything like that. But uh, Mandalorian number four, Grogu and Mando variant. Mandalorian number seven, another Grogu and Mando cover. Probably all of these have them. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Mandalorian number eight, also a Grogu and Mando cover. Go figure. And then I got two copies of this. This is Star Wars Visions number one, uh, the exclusive Virgin variant. Really great one. Let's pull the sticker off. Take a look at that cover in all its Virgin glory. 15 bucks. And I got, like I said, I got, I got two of them just in case two people want them. Uh, give me some room to look there. 
Top row's coming down. Let's see. I won't do the rest of the Star Wars if people don't want that. I'll go, I'll go in a different direction. Another dimension, another dimension. Oh, actually, this is different. Yeah, I just realized this is actually different Daredevil stuff than I had up last week. So I'll put these four up, or three, three Daredevil books. And actually, we got one more. We got four Daredevil books. Silver Age Daredevil here coming in. Uh, and what's coming down? Top row is coming down. Eric Larson, ASM with Venom. Yeah, uh, I probably have all of those books for you. I'm not even, not even kidding. Um, I always try to stay stocked up on my my ASM stuff. I'm always, always searching out those collections whenever I run low. Um, give me a second. Daredevil number 15, early appearance of the Ox here. Uh, great cover. One of my favorite early Daredevil covers. Uh, this is in decent shape. It's probably like a 4 0. 20 bucks. Daredevil 15. Uh, Daredevil 47. Uh, this one, 5 0 to, 5 5 to 6 0. Solid mid grade for a Silver Age book. Uh, Daredevil's 59. This is also a 5 5 to a 6 0. 15 bucks on that. Very affordable. And Daredevil 62. 4.5 to 5 .0, also $15. I think this is the first appearance of Nighthawk. Who? Exactly. Most of Daredevil's Silver Age villains are, are fairly forgettable outside of the Daredevil run. Uh, yeah, let me see what Larson Spideys I've got next. We're going to take down... If anyone wants that whole bottom row, it comes out to 60 bucks normally. I'll do it for 45 So buy three, get one free. $45 for that bottom row. Buy three, get one free. Those are all exclusive variant Mandalorian covers. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Let's see what we can get in the way of some more Larson. I may have more... Uh, not Larson, uh, more McFarlane than I have Larson here. Let me see. I think my Larson stuff might be a little tucked away, but I'll see. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I'll put up some more ASM either way. Put up some more DC as well. We're going to just keep going through it. I got some Harley Quinn stuff here. I got some Spidey stuff. Let's do that. Let's do a row of Spider-Man, a row of Harley stuff. I got some Green Lantern things. Uh, so Mando Rose coming down. Ba -ba -ba. Interested in McFarlane 2 and Craven's Last Hunt. See what I can do for you there. Uh, let's see the Harley. Yeah, Harley's coming up in just a second. Let's make it happen for Josh. We're doing ASM first, though. Uh, issue number 148. Uh, yeah, lower lower side of mid-grade copy. It's not terrible. Just got a bunch of spine ticks. We'll call it a 3.5 to 4.0. Let's call it low to mid-grade there. 3.5 to 4.0. 15 bucks. This is the um, this is the Death of Jackal. Um, First cover appearance of Jackal, and this is uh, when when Ben Riley is created, and he first appears in the issue. After that, uh, Amazing Spider-Man one fifty two. We got a Shocker appearance. This is a nice high grade copy. 
20 bucks, early 70s, ASM, 152. Uh, ASM number 212. This is the first appearance of Hydro Man. Very fine condition. Nice copy. 25 bucks. And last but not least, McFarlane. ASM number 312. Near Mint. One of my favorite McFarlane covers. And the first cover appearance of Hobgoblin and Green Goblin. Which, it's wild. Because this book is from 1988. Green Goblin obviously had been around since the 60s. Hobgoblin had been around since 1983 so it took five years for these two to be on a cover together it's pretty weird the jackal was done dirty josh knows josh knows josh watched the youtube video that i made about the jackal and how he's the most overshadowed comic book character of all time let me tell you all a story about dr miles warren aka the jackal his first appearance ASM 31, but he's completely overshadowed because it's also the first appearance of Gwen Stacy and Harry Osborne. Then he becomes the Jackal. His first appearance as the Jackal is ASM 129, but no one cares about that because it's the first appearance of Frank Castle, the gosh darn Punisher. Then, then he gets his first cover appearance in this issue. My boy's finally coming up. First cover appearance here, and then he dies. He dies, and his death issue is the first appearance of Ben Riley, completely overshadowed in all of his major appearances. The Jackal is the forgotten character of Marvel Comics. The end. Uh, claim on H. You got it, Justin. Thank you. Uh, we got a claim on E from Kevin Connor as well. Boom. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, did you get that box yet? Just making sure it didn't get like lost in the mail somewhere. Because it was a big box. I hope it's not stuck in transit. Um, what was B again? B is Daredevil 47. The grade on it is, I believe, 5.5 .5 to 6.0. It's an, is that right? I feel like that's what I said. 5.5 .5 to 6.0. Look at my little memory there. I'm proud of myself. That video was like 10 years ago. Yeah, I don't... Oh, nice. You got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's put two more books on that bottom row, and then uh, we'll flip the top after that. Let's go with uh, one and two. Let's do a, we'll do a Silver Age Thor. This is Thor 149. Nice mid-grade, 5.5 .5 on this one. 25 bucks. Silver Age Thor. And Invincible Iron Man number 54, underrated book. First appearance of Moon Dragon, awesome cover featuring Namor. It's also the issue before we get Thanos, but that's nothing. 30 bucks on that. Um, mid-grade copy, lower side of mid-grade, probably like a, a 4 maybe a 4 on that one. Um, boo -boo -boo. All right, we're going to flip the top row with some... Harley Quinn and friends. Then we'll flip the bottom row real quick. And then we will get to the commercial. And then we'll come back. And then we'll do some more stuff. And then we'll end the show. Did anyone want these Daredevils? We got a claim on B. Noah, you got it, man. Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's get that top row cleared. If there's no more claims up there. Uh, let's see. Will any of our northern claimers be attending this Saturday? I know. Yeah, Juan's going to be there. Uh, a lot of people. A lot of a lot of uh, people that I know from New York and New Jersey. Obviously, it's in North Jersey, almost New York. So a lot of people from that area. People are driving up from Maryland, Delaware, Philadelphia, other parts of PA. So it should be a good turnout. It always is. Uh, Harley Quinn number twenty three. This is a Phenomenal variant cover featuring Harley and Poison Ivy. Down at the bottom there. 15 bucks on that. Near Mint Plus. It's a potential for a 9.8. Uh, I also have this. This is Poison Ivy. I think this is Poison Ivy number one. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I'll look it up if you want me to. But just a beautiful freaking virgin Poison Ivy cover. Whoo! Hoo wee! Yeehaw! Uh, speaking of Harley Quinn. Back to this one, Batman Adventures uh, Mad Love Special. This is the, um, what is this? Is this the second appearance of Harley Quinn? 
I think this is the second Harley Quinn. Uh, nice, nice copy. 9.4 or better on this one. This is 75 bucks up on C. And this isn't Harley, but it's a cool book. Icon number one, still in the poly bag. This has a preview of Static. So first preview of Static in that book. $15 still in the poly bag. Uh, do I have an ASM 161? I'm sure I do. Uh, Jeff, unfortunately, will not be able to make Comic Book Canon. He has another obligation that day. Uh, Kevin, I'm going to look for uh, – I'm going to write that down. ASM 161. I'm sure I have one. ASM 161. Kevin Connor. I'm going to sticky note that to my computer so I don't forget it. I will look for one for you. I'm sure I have one. Uh, we got claim B, claim B, claim D. Well, guess what? There were two Bs. So Noah and Josh, you both get one. Nobody missed out. And then Icon is going to Jamil. So Noah got one of these. Josh got one of these. And Jamil got the other one. Josh. And Josh, of course, I'll be bringing all your stuff to King Kong with me. All right, I've got some stuff from, I think stuff from Mike and Mike and Paul as well that you've purchased. Uh, let's fill that wall in. Let's go with. Oh, I already sold one of these, but let's let's see if anyone wants another one. Another near minty copy of First Appearance of Tim Drake, fifteen dollars. First Tim Drake and Silver Surfer number one from the. Stanley and Mobius. Mobius did the art on this. Stanley written Mobius uh, Silver Surfer. Um, ba -ba -ba. We both won. Yep. You both got that book. I'm surprised no one went one for this one. That one's a great one. Don't get me wrong. But that one's got Harley on it, too. The sweet book. Uh, let's see. All right. We are due for a commercial break right now. We're going to take that. We're going to come back with some Green Lantern. Some good Green Lantern keys as well. Uh, and whatever other stuff I feel like putting up. So see you in just a minute. Think about what's on the wall. Bottom row's coming down when we get back. See you soon. Ask your local comic shop to add BattleQuest Comics to your pull list today. You love comic books. You collect comic books. But even if you own a rare, expensive issue, it's still a copy. How would you like to own a piece of comic book history? The actual art pages the comics were made from. Oh no, you say. That's too expensive. Regular people can't afford that stuff, can they? Nick Ferrucci says yes. Join the founder of Dynamite Entertainment for the original art experience on YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook. Incredible art at almost unbelievable prices. Does he have some high dollar pieces for the high rollers? Sure, but Nick always makes sure to find amazing pieces priced for the fledgling collector. You can collect original comic art. The Original Art Experience, Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern, part of the experience. Did you know that Arthur, King of the Britons, and Monty Python in the Holy Grail was played by a famous Graham? Check out another famous Graham by following our Instagram.
We're back. We're back. We got a little over 10 minutes left. We're going to go through as much as we can. Noah, you mentioned being in Connecticut. Um, just to let you know, Three Men in a Basement are doing their annual comic swap, uh, which is a, a comic show that they host. It originally was just a swap, but now it's a whole like little you know, mid-sized con. I will be selling there. Uh, I do every year. I hope you can make it. It's May 18th, Saturday, May 18th. Uh, Three Men in a Basement comic book swap. Um, that's in Connecticut. And I might be setting up a terrific con too. I haven't quite decided if I will be doing that yet, but it's a it's a big maybe. It's a big maybe for me. All right, let's get rolling. We got some green lantern, some solid green lantern keys here. Uh, these are kind of all the ones that you want from the Jeff Johns run. Green Lantern number 25. This is the first appearance of Atrocitus and a bunch of other characters. First cameo of like Larflees and, and a bunch of characters. But really the first Atrocitus is the one that makes this kind of the book. 30 bucks, near mint plus on that. Uh, then we got issue number 39. First actual appearance of Larflees and first cover. $15 on that. We got issue number 43. This is the first appearance of the Black Hand as a Black Lantern. Awesome cover. Love that Bruce Wayne tombstone there. $15. And I got two of them, just in case two people want them. And last but not least, Green Lantern number 20. This is from the New 52 run, which was also Jeff Johns, right? Yeah. But this was a different run than these. This is the first... Um, What's her name? Jessica Cruz. I almost said Jessica Jones. I always say Jessica Jones instead of Jessica Cruz and Jessica Cruz instead of Jessica Jones. This one's Jessica Cruz. She's a Green Lantern. $20 near mint. Whole bottom row is all near nice near mint stuff. Interested in going to the swap, but I'll definitely be at Terrificon. Yeah, the swap is definitely worth it. It's such a fun, like, through Meta Basement, they host, like, tons of great community stuff, which is just, it's it's so cool when, like, you can tell that those guys really love comics, really love the community. Yada, yada, yada. Let's do a random wall. We're going to do a bunch of random stuff right here. Oh, we got another Harley Quinn book that I missed. Oh, and it's got Poison Ivy on it. Uh-oh. Get your claiming fingers ready. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. All right, we have two modern books, a Bronze Age and a Golden Age book. And we've got two DC, no, sorry, one DC, a Marvel, and a Dell. So do we have a random wall? Top row is about to come down. I'm surprised no one grabbed that Mad Love number one. Or Mad Love. It's a it's a one shot. So there really just just is a number one. Um, this is Harley Quinn 26. Again, a Harley and Ivy cover. It's got that, that Ivy booty that people seem to love. $15 on that up on a, uh, Punisher Soviet number five. This is a one in 25 variant. Hard to find. Uh, no idea who the cover artist is, but harder to find book, uh, sells for between like 40 and 50 bucks. I've got it at 35 just to be on the cheap side. So you can even make some money if you buy that and resell it. Marvel feature number two. This is the second appearance of the Defenders. Uh, lower grade copy, probably like a 3.5 or a 4. Uh, 15 bucks though. There you go. Any Catwoman covers? I don't think I have any Catwoman covers tonight. Uh, Walt Disney Comics and Stories number 107 from 1949. Um, in pretty nice shape. It's got a bunch of like scratches on the spine, but a really nicely intact book for the 1940s. Looks beautiful, presents really well. Carl Barks cover, Donald and his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. 30 bucks on this one up on D. Great 1940s Disney. Um, and then bottom row. Wow, no one, no, no takers on the Green Lanterns. How about this? I'll do a little bundle deal. If anyone wants the whole bottom row, it would be 80 bucks. Uh, can't go too much less than that, but let's do, um, let's see, normally be 80. Let's do 65. 65. So you get, you get this one for free or this one for free. 65 bucks for the bottom row. And then we're going to go to 
the top row. Go with Boop. top row. Yeah, Punisher seems to be uh, showing up. Sorry, no bottom row. We're taking the bottom row down. Those have been up for a little bit. Nobody needs this Green Lantern stuff. I'm surprised. Considering Green Lantern's coming to the DCU, my theory is that just like the culmination of the, the first, that whole first uh, three phases of, of Marvel was the Infinity War. I think they're going to culminate with Blackest Night. I think that would be really, really cool in the DC universe. That's just my opinion. It might be true. It might not be true. We'll have to wait and find out. All I know is that I'm very excited to see what James Gunn does. And for the first time in my life, I'm excited for a Superman movie to come out. All right, um, X Factor number five. This is the first cameo appearance of uh, Apocalypse. Wow, I forgot his name for a second. Near Mint, 20 bucks. Then we got uh, the first full appearance of Apocalypse. Uh, this is a pretty decent copy. It's, it's, not, it's not Near Mint. I would say it's probably VF. It's got a little corner ding. Um, but affordable, 40 bucks, first Apocalypse. I'm not sure. 13 from 2019. No, I don't think I have that. Uh, Pinky in the Brain, number one, newsstand. This is a tough to find newsstand from when? Mid 90s? Yeah, 1996 newsstand. Uh, it's got a little tear up at the top, but still, uh, this normally sells for like 40 bucks. We've got this one for 25. Where's the sticker? I don't know. And uh, Superboy, number zero. This is the first cameo appearance of King Shark. And this is the Zero Hour variant. Hard to find these, especially uh, minty copies. This, these were multi-pack books, kind of like the DC Universe logos. This is the Zero Hour logo variant. 20 bucks on that, up on H. X-Factor 6. First appearance of Moon Knight. What? That's not that's first apocalypse, not Moon Knight. What are you talking about? Did I say first Moon Knight? Did I get did I say that? <laughs> if I did, I was getting Moon Knight, Moon Knight and Apocalypse mixed up in my head because they're both Egyptian. That would be funny. All right, we are at 9.55. We have enough time for one more flip of the top wall. Let's do it. Let's go with... One. Uh, Justin, if you're still in here, I've got some more McFarlands. So one, two. And we'll go with this Moon Knight book since someone called out Moon Knight. Oh, same actor. Oh, duh. Yeah, Oscar Isaac. He also voiced Spider-Man 2099 in the, the Sony-verse. So he's, I think he's the first person to play three Marvel characters in three different anime, uh, three different um, films. I think he is, at least. Uh, Pinky the Brain, number seven, high-grade newsstand. This is the first appearance of Babs and Buster Bunny. Uh, of Tiny Toon Adventures fame. Uh, then we got Moon Knight, number one. This is from the Lemire run. This is the hard-to-find third printing with the green text. Third printing of Moon Knight, number one. Awesome cover. Probably, in my opinion, the best Moon Knight run. 20 bucks. I haven't, I, I, I have to admit, I haven't read all of them. There's a ton of Moon Knight runs. But, you know, I know the original. I know this one. I've read Vengeance of Moon Knight, which was a Bendis run. I read the one that was coming out two years ago. Uh, ASM 302. Uh, this is a sharp copy. Near Mint. Uh, oh, man. Sorry, I got to stand over here. $15 on that. McFarlane, issue 302. So that's an early McFarlane. And issue 325, that classic Red Skull cover. $15. Near Mint on that as well. 
boom, put that up on D. And that takes us to 959 or 57. So we're going to be not putting up any more books. I will let you take your opportunities now to think about what you've seen tonight, reflect on it, decide whether you want to pull the trigger on something or not, make an offer, do a dance, tell a joke, whatever you want. Uh, agree with you on the 14 issue Lemire run. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. 14, right. It's, it's, yeah, it's fairly short, digestible. I do like runs like that, you know, longer than that. Those like four or six issue mini series, but you know, a maxi series of 12 issues or a little bit beyond that. Or some of those are great. Uh, ASM 280 or 276, uh, Brian Perez. I'm sure I have those, but. Not on hand at the moment. Um, I always have inventory that keeps you buying. Hey, I try to I try to bring a little bit of everything to the table. Some weird stuff like Pinky in the Brain, the what's it called logo, zero hour logo, but also some like you know popular stuff. McFarland Spider Man first, uh, that guy Apocalypse Moon Knight, whatever we're talking about. I try my best. All right, it is 9.58, so if there are no more claims, I will be shutting down the stream in about a minute. Um, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do so on the way out. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to the experience on YouTube, do so now. Give me a subscription as well, uh, 360 Comics on YouTube. More importantly, follow me on Instagram. That's where I do most of my stuff. 360 Comics on Instagram. Uh, good night, Noah. Have a good one. I'm not seeing any more questions in the chat. Good night, Justin. Um, again, King Con is this Saturday in North Jersey. So if you live reasonably close, come by. Also, Sunday is Philly Comic Con. So we got two shows this weekend. Uh, I will be set up at both of them selling. Uh, did anyone claim the four-issue Deadpool? Michael C., No. No one has claimed the Deadpool yet. Actually, I have two copies of it. If you want it, let me know in the chat in the next 30 seconds because we are shutting it down. If uh, if I don't see your chat for some reason, let me know on uh, – send me a message on Instagram. That's the best way. But let me pull that out right now. If you want it, it's yours, 25 bucks plus the shipping and stuff. I'll take it. There we go. Michael C., I see you there. Make sure you fill out the form. Awesome. $25, Deadpool 1 through 4. All right, it is 9.59, and it's time for me to log off because I need to eat something. I'm starving. I haven't had dinner yet. I need to go get ready for King Kong, all that stuff. So peace out. Thank you very much. Have a good night.